everyone. This is being recorded the day before our big trip because I can already foresee the future. I'm not gonna wanna talk in the morning because I'm gonna have to be at the bus station at seven, I think. I wanna preface this with a mini, mini Korean lesson because I just learned something that shocked me and angered me and I wanna share it with you. As you can tell from the title of this video, I hope we are going to a goat farm. And I don't know why I never came across the word goat or I never really thought too deeply about the word goat. There are two different words for goat. And the one that I saw um, that this particular farm is using, they call them san yang, which if you break that down, san means mountain and yang means sheep. So I came to Kurt and I was like, hey man, why are they calling goats? Mountain sheep, what is this? Actually, they're most often called yumso, which, break it down, means salt cow. A goat can't stand on its own four hooves. It has to either be a cow or a sheep. Oh, 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 so, so technically, the mountain sheep that is living in our, in Korea, they get domesticated and they we call that normal. That was just like a funny, a, a funny, strange thing that I learned and I will now never forget either of those words. So we're going to Tebek, which is a small mountain town. It is accessible by train. Um, if you take the long slow train, um, but we're gonna take a long slow bus instead because why not? So I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow. <sighs> All right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> rest stop we are halfway there I'm feeling significantly more awake hoping that the rain holds out it's only a 50% chance so that's okay but um, yeah I'm excited to see the goats let's go Um, there is a line of taxis waiting for me. I'm gonna hop in one. I already saw the farm on the way in. Let's go. <sighs> My dear friends, we have made it <laughs> all the way here. The taxi driver had a really rough time. Um, it didn't show up on the GPS but we figured it out i made a new friend it's all good and we're here i think i hope this is a solo trip and so as we're walking up there oh my god i think i see them already oh my god this is a solo trip and i recently got a comment um i get this comment a lot but i got one recently that was asking like how do you oh those are giant ducks oh my god um so they were asking how do you kind of have fun by yourself while solo traveling and I always say this, but I bring a journal, I bring a sketchbook, um, I bring a book, and so you kind of aren't traveling alone. You have some kind of companion with you. That kind of ties into the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare again. I talk about them all the time in regards to their art classes. They have a wide range of classes. Um, it's an online learning community that I use for a ridiculous amount of hobbies. I'm taking a visual journaling class, um, which is actually ridiculously fun. It's called visual journaling, drawing your feelings, I think. It's just super cute. And I brought my journal with me today to just kind of sketch around and draw. Yeah, so if you're ever like nervous about traveling alone or eating alone or doing anything by yourself, um, just bring a little companion and 
you won't really be alone. So if you do want to try out Skillshare, I highly recommend the visual journaling class for people who are journal challenged like I am. So if you want to try out Skillshare, there is a link in my description box. First 1000 people to click that link um, will get one month of the Skillshare free premium membership. Um, and then after that, it's about $10 a month. I'm going to draw my feelings because I know that I can't draw goats. <laughs> so um, there should be a cafe here. I don't know. We're just like up so freaking high in the mountains. Um, and their Instagram literally calls themselves Korean Switzerland. I'm so happy to be here. It's so lovely. And there are ducks. So anyway, thank you again to Skillshare. Link in the description box. Let's go say hi to what even are these? <laughs> We've still got a ways to walk though, so. <laughs> you aren't even fenced in. Are you just really well behaved? Or did you escape? Should I stop this? All right, I'm just gonna let a goat do what a goat does. I don't know the rules here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna head up. <laughs> First thing I see is a sheep dog or a goat dog perhaps. Let's say hello. Oh, you just woke up, baby. Hello. Oh, he's ready. You want scratches? Hmm? Look at that. Oh. You worked hard, didn't you? You seem like a hard working dog. I'll see you later. I'll come back. Come back. <laughs> I'm gonna go see your Han Young friends and then I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, goodbye. Bye, baby. No food, no friends, right? <laughs> no more. Sorry. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I've made friends, but only for a moment. Only while they think I still have food in my hand. <laughs> Determined to eat my ring. No, these. This would be me. <laughs> if I were a goat, this would be my life. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know I was gonna sit there right before you laid down? You guys are guarding it. I see. I'll sit in the other shady seats, <laughs> guarded by this one. Do you need a password? Can I go sit in that chair? Oh, wise goat. Oh my God. This goat is killing me. He is talking to his friends up there and they keep answering back. But it's like, couldn't you just walk up there and have a quieter conversation? But who am I? What do I know? Let's try, let's try and go up. I don't know how, but make like the goats. Oh, 
friendly. Happy. Yes, yes. Please don't put him down. There are crickets the size of goats <laughs> on this hill, um, which was alarming to see. But this seems like the place where they can do their like rock climbing, chilling, self-care. I really enjoy this, but I think now it is time to go into the cafe. It's a little, it's a little toasty, I'm a little sticky, but um, they're so cute. So let's, uh, let's go, I gotta get out of this photographer's way. I'm messing up all of his pictures. <laughs> I guess if they want to get away from people, they can climb through that hole. Once again, I'm just very concerned about escaping goats. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like witnessing something I should be telling them about, but I'm sure that they've thought of this. So I'm gonna try not to roll down this hill and let's get a coffee. <laughs> These two are a little comedic duo. They are always together. This guy has so much character to his face. I love them. I love you too. I'll be back. Peace. blueberry in my teeth no maybe okay um greetings from the cafe this is just so lovely um if i understand correctly i think they only opened this month actually um and the taxi driver had no idea what i was talking about so it does seem like it's a new place um it's huge like it's a perfect amount of space um they have only a part of it that you are allowed to walk around they own like the whole mountain um and so like a quarter of the mountain is for people to enjoy and then the rest is for the goats and you can rent a little picnic basket you can rent a little camping basket it's like in the middle of the gorgeous mountains i mean i really couldn't ask for more i'm just gonna sit here and take in the view and journal and doodle and um go back out and see the goats again i don't think i'm gonna buy food um, but you can buy a huge cup of food if you want to. That lady was just really nice and shared with me. I'm gonna finish my yogurt, which is actually really nice. It's not sugary. Like the Korean yogurts tend to be like all sugar. This is not, it's delicious. I will catch you when I do round two of the goats. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> You're quite dirty, to be honest. There are only a few places I feel comfortable petting you. So 
politely. And then when they realize you don't have any food, they're kind of like, screw you. <laughs> oh, but you aren't. Oh, you're sweet. He's also the dirtiest one. Oh my god. <gasps> you're big. Your horns are big. You're a little scary, my friend. It's not me, it's him. He has, he has it. Over there. You. Over there. Chajokuro. I'm honored, everyone. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. But, um, I don't have anything. I could have climbed. I didn't have to scale it as if I was a goat myself. Well, live and learn. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, sweet dog. Goodbye. Oh, he speaks to me. I'm gonna get a little bread to take home for Kurt. Head on home. Bye. I head back to the entrance where I can hopefully get a taxi to the bus terminal. If not, I think I can walk it. I'm not sure. Highly recommend, honestly, like that was so cute. The cafe has like sandwiches as well. So if you want to come here for like a full meal, they also had like pizza and stuff, I'm pretty sure. What can I say? That was just a, a really nice, lovely experience. And because goats are kind of ridiculous like everybody was able to like laugh with each other and be like what the hell is going on and stuff so it was like you could bond a bit with strangers my favorite activity my hands are raw because i sanitized them so many times um but i'm happy i'm in my element <laughs> and um catch you at the bus terminal travel all day the first thing you want to do is change so i'm in my pajamas i'm about to get dinner actually um with kurt but i'm so hungry i underestimated how hungry i would get um that i took a big old slice of this so i bought the um milk 
loaf of bread. Um, this is really common to have like uyubang, like um, it's just like a very fluffy white bread made with milk. And um, in this case, it's made from goat milk and um, got a huge slice for myself right now. Um, and I was going to buy the, they sell the milk and the yogurt. I wasn't super sure. I'm like iffy about dairy in general. This is like my most dairy filled <laughs> vlog. Um, I don't like lattes. I normally don't get yogurt drinks, stuff like that. I'm very scared of dairy going bad, especially. So a three to potentially four hour bus ride with milk. I was just kind of like, mm, no. So I brought this back for Kurt. Is that all I want to say? Yeah, that was super fun. Like I said, about a billion times, it was really chill and pretty and beautiful. And I don't know, I, I went to, pro tip, I went to um, a sheep farm two years ago. Um, in Pyeongchang, so in like a relatively similar, eh, kind of similar area out, out in the mountains. And I went in September. And let me tell you, that was the most beautiful time to go. It was so windy, but it was so beautiful. Um, so if you want to go in the summer, I'm sure it's nice, but it's also hot and raining a lot. Um, oh, if you can hold off till September. Oh, September and October are my favorite months in Korea by far. Um, but anyway, it was very nice. <sighs> God, I just, all I did all day today was sit on a bus, but I feel so tired. <laughs> it is raining here in Seoul. I got home just before it started downpouring. So yay for that. And um, is that it? This is, uh, oh, I was just about to lie to you. Um, I was gonna say this is my last trip outside of Seoul before I head to America for a little bit. But um, no, we still have another trip. <laughs> Ooh, uh, so yeah, we're going, we're, we're leaving Seoul again uh, before I get on my airplane. So yay. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this. Um, my link in the description box is there for you. First 1000 people to click the link, get one month free Skillshare premium membership. Um, and again, just even just look at the preview of the class that I mentioned, the visual journaling class. Um, it's got interesting ideas and it's been fun to watch and openly doodle badly, as you know, I like to do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to eat, ah, let me try this for you on camera in case it's poisoned. It just tastes like good white bread, which is what I wanted. So, okay, I will see you guys next time. Thank you as always for joining me. I hope you enjoyed all of the goat footage <laughs> and yeah. Catch you later. Bye.